I hope that this is all all working. Um, so it would be great if you could write in the comments, please, just to check that it's all going through, okay? Um, as you join me for my, uh, my, I believe this is my 15th session in the virtual village hall, actually. Hello, great, it's working, fantastic. Um, so today's session, uh, obviously, Silver Swans, um, very gentle ballet classes, um, specially adapted for um, the over 55s. But although we say for the over 55s, it's just basically if you feel as though that is the right um, class for you, then uh, then I really hope that you enjoy it. Um, uh, so today's session is going to be suitable for absolute beginners. Um, so I'll be explaining everything from the start. So it doesn't matter if you have never stepped foot in a ballet class before. It really doesn't matter um, because I'll go through all the positions of the feet and everything right from the beginning. Uh, I like to always put a bit of a theme on my classes, um, you know, to introduce different ballets to people. We've done sessions on Swan Lake, uh, Sleeping Beauty. We did Sleeping Beauty last uh, last month and we did the Carabos Mime, which I absolutely love doing. Um, and you can actually watch those back I'm sure that the virtual village hall will put a link in the comments after the session uh, you can actually always watch back my older sessions today's class we're going to do um, a little bit of repertoire well a little bit of a theme around the ballet of Le Corsair which means the pirate um, so it's one of the lesser known ballets um it is still fantastic though it's a big core piece of repertoire in a lot of ballet companies um particularly the russian ballet companies seem to really love doing uh Le Corsair. Um, English National Ballet have done it as well. Um, it's, like I said, it's called The Pirate. It's all about a shipwreck and um, and the freeing of some slaves as well. So it's really, really, um, it's got some of this beautiful music. Um, and actually the piece of music that we're doing at the end of the session, hopefully you might even recognise it. So we'll get started just before we begin. Check that you've got lots of clear space around you, that there's nothing you can trip over. Obviously, it is a slightly warmer day today, so do make sure you keep hydrated throughout the session. You know, I will put in some water breaks, but by all means, just take a drink whenever you need to. Um, and I think that's everything. You will need a ballet bar for the session as well. Uh, you don't need it straight away. Something like, you see, I have a dining room chair. Uh, just something sturdy that won't wobble over. Right, so we start off with two warm-ups to begin with. Our first warm-up is just getting us moving, so we're walking around in the space. And then our second warm-up is specifically for our feet. If you haven't got enough space to walk around, just walk on the spot for this in for this first warm-up. Okay, I will just adjust my camera now so that you can see me a bit better. There we go. Right. Okay, hopefully that's there you go. Good. <laughs> um, so let's get started. going to walk around the room and walking round. If you have enough space and just walking on the spot. Okay, now taking your hand slowly up and down and up. camera a little bit further back actually and just give a bit more space I don't want to pull out my uh, my uh, internet wire though that's the only thing um, there we go there we go that's just giving a little bit more space there okay so for our second warm-up we're going to use our ballet bars so this one is specifically for your feet um, like I said just use something sturdy that won't wobble over I'm using my dining room chair 
Um, so facing your ballet bar, we'll start off with our feet together. Now I'll just talk a little bit about your posture at the bar. It's very important that we really get our posture right because our posture, of course, affects our balance. Um, so if you're too close to your bar, we can tell this because your elbows are too bent. If you're too far away, your elbows are straight. We just want them to have a, just be nice and relaxed in a nice soft curve. This way your shoulders can stay nice and relaxed. And we're thinking all the time about lifting up. Imagine you have a string coming out the middle of your head that's just lifting you upwards to your ceiling. Okay, so we've got like this two-way stretch. I know I often go on about my um, imagery of the helium balloon that's trying to float upwards. So your head is the helium balloon trying to float up, but your feet are staying very grounded. That's the weight on the helium balloon. And all the time in the class, that's the feeling that we want, that we've got this very lifted feeling, but our feet are still very grounded. Okay, so let's get on with our foot exercise now. So we're going to go to our demi point. Demi meaning half and point, pointed foot. Then we go to a point, demi point and down, same with the other leg, to a point, demi point and down, same again, to a point, demi point and down, same again, to a point demi point and down so we want a nice crease across our shoes when we're doing that then we're going to point and flex so pointing your foot to the front flexing your foot pointing your foot and closing same again and flex and point and close and pointing and flexing and pointing and the close one more and flex and point and Close, okay so we're really just getting our feet moving just a little bit more in this session in this exercise you know we're going through the different parts of our feet okay let's give it a go with music to do is our plies. Plie means to bend, so obviously all the terms in a ballet class are in French, um, so you're learning French as well. Um, so plies, we can go through the different positions, They're just a really lovely way to start off a ballet class. So I'll just explain about the positions of the feet first of all. If you just start with your feet together, now if you turn, turn out in ballet always comes from your hips, so it's the whole of your leg that's rotated outwards. So if you just rotate your legs outwards, so your heels are still together, but now your toes and the whole of your leg will have gone out. So if you look down, you want it to look about like a right angle really with your feet. Okay, so or like 10 to two, five to one, if you're on a clock. Okay, so wherever it is, it just should feel comfortable. We're not trying to over force our feet to turn out. It should just feel nice and comfortable in that position. So that's first position. Now, keeping that turnout between your feet, if you just put the space between them, we've now got second position. Now, second position, we want to make sure that our weight is absolutely equal on both feet. Check that both feet are matching, that you haven't got one foot more turned out than the other, and it's really important that you're not leaning on one leg more than the other, so your weight is central. And I'm also going to teach you as well third position. So if you just come back to first, and if you bring one foot in front, so the heel of your front foot is in contact with the middle of your back foot. Okay, and you can swap over, you can have either foot in front for third position. It doesn't matter whichever one, because we use both. And we're going to use both in this setting today, actually. Okay, so feet in first position, and we'll face our belly bar. Thinking about that posture, thinking about that lifting upwards, shoulders relaxed, check you the correct distance from your bar. We're going to start off with our plies now. So we're going to start off with a demi plie and stretch. I'll just turn to face the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Basically making like a diamond shape with my legs. Be careful that your heels stay in contact with the floor. Sometimes heels like to pop up. 
Okay, so bending and stretching another demi plie and stretch. Now we're going to go into a rise. So just lifting your heels up and lowering back down. When we take the rise, make sure your legs are nice and straight. And we want to just lean, think of leaning a little bit more towards your big toe rather than out towards your little toe, because that's quite a weakening position. If you keep your leg tracking in a nice straight line as you rise up and lower down, then that's very strengthening. Then we'll point our foot to second, and we'll repeat in second position. So same on your demi plies. So think about your knees going over your toes every time you're bending. Bending and stretching into a rise. Little lift of your heels, it doesn't have to be a high lift of your heels, just a little lift will do. And then we'll point our foot and close in front into third. So make sure your weight is equal on both feet again. Bending and stretching, you're still relaxing your shoulders. Bending and stretching into a little rise, lowering down. Then I'm going to point my foot to second and close it in at the back. So I've now got third position with my other foot in front. Bending and stretching, bending and stretching, a little rise, lowering down, and then I'll close into first position to finish up. So we've taken the pattern of two plies and one rise in first position, second position, third position with one foot in front, and then third position with the other foot in front. Let's give it a go with music. Lifting nice and tall, relaxing your shoulders, and turn, plie, and stretch, plie, and stretch, little rise, and now we'll go to second position, check your waist in the middle, but your feet are matching, plie, and stretch, knees going over your toes, and stretch, rising up, you're still lifting, and lowering down, and into third position. Bring your foot in front, layer, and stretch, layer, and stretch, little rise. And now we're going to swap over our feet. So we've got the other foot in front, and layer. And stretch, heels staying in contact with the floor, rising up and lowering down to close into first. Okay, go. So we're going to now move on to a step called a Batman Tonju. Basically, it's just pointing and closing your feet. For this exercise, I'm actually going to turn my chair around so that and we're all going to face the camera okay so we've for that exercise obviously you know we could kind of as we're facing our bar we could use either leg um, but for this one we're just going to be using one leg so feet in first position now when you, you've got your when you're standing sideways to the bar what you want to do is pop yourself a little bit further back with especially if you're using a chair like me then put your hand in the middle of your chair if your hand starts to wander behind you then that really starts to affect your posture, which obviously in turn affects your balance. So pop yourself a little bit further back, make sure that hand is in front of you, and your other hand is going to go onto your waist. And again, with this hand, be careful, it doesn't wander around the back because it's going to start to pull your weight backwards. So hand on your waist, thinking about our posture, nice and relaxed. So we have our outside leg, which is your leg furthest away from your bar, and we have your inside leg, which is your leg closest towards your bar. Your inside leg, is just going to basically have a little rest. We call that your supporting leg. It's just going to support you. Your working leg is the one that's going to do all the work. That's your outside leg. When we take back montanges, we can use lots of different directions. We can go devant, which is going to the front. We can go to our a la seconde, which is going to the side. And we can go derriere, which is going to the back. Okay. So back on use, it's slowly your foot sliding out until it goes into a beautiful pointed foot and then it slides back in again. And what we're going to do is basically two back on use in each of those positions. So I'm going to go point and close 
and point and close. And then we'll just, because we've kept our legs so straight, we'll take a nice slow demi plie and then we'll stretch them to go to second. When we go to second, we think about our big toes being opposite each other, pointing and closing, pointing and closing, a demi plie and stretching your legs. Now we're going to go derriere, pointing it behind you. Make sure it goes straight behind you. Keeping your legs nice and straight. Going derriere is the most difficult. And bending and stretching. And then we'll do one more set to second. Pointing and closing and pointing and closing and bending and stretching. So that setting, we would actually refer to it as en croix, in the shape of a cross. And basically, it's like a shorthand way for a dancer saying that we do a set to the front, a set to the side, one to the back, and then back to the side again. Okay? So we're going to do now our batman tendus en croix, with little plies added in as well. So, feet in first position. And pointing and closing. Point and close. And demi plie. Now we'll go to second. Pointing and closing. Pointing and closing. Demi plie. Now we'll go to the back. Demi end. And close. Demi end. And closing. You're still thinking about lifting up. And stretching. Two seconds. Tom to you. Nice straight legs. And bending. And stretching. Okay, so we've only worked one leg, we need to work the other leg, so we've got our muscle balance nice and equal. So normally in a ballet class, dancers would turn around to then repeat the exercise on the other side, but so that you can keep following along with the video, you can just swap your chair over to the other side. Okay, so feet in first, pop yourself behind your chair, hand a little bit in front, hand on your waist. So now it's going to be your outside leg. So it's your other leg that's doing the work now. Okay, feet in first. And pointing and closing and pointing and closing. Nice slow demi plie. And stretching now to the side. Tongue and close. Tongue and close. Demi plie. And go demi end. Point and close and point. And close, nice demi plie. Keep lifting tall. Two second, two second, and demi plie, and switch. Okay, good. If you want to swap your ballet bars back over again, have a little drink of water as well if you want. And I'm just going to have a quick sip of water because it's very hot today. Okay. Oh, I think it's more humidity today, actually. So, it is quite a, I'm in Manchester and it is quite a cloudy overcast day today, but, um, right. So, for this exercise, for the next exercise, we're actually going to keep facing our bar. And we're going to return back to that again. And this is called a rond de jambe à terre. Rond meaning round. Your jambe is your leg at air on the ground. And we can take our rond de jambes on the yaw, which is going outwards, and on the don, which is coming inwards. And we're going to do both of these today. For your rond de jambes, we're going to think of like a capital letter D shape. Um, I'll explain more of now. So, feet in first position, facing your belly bar. It's basically like our back montant you on coir, all the positions we've just been to. It's like we're going to play dot to dot with them all and we're going to join them all up. So taking your foot to the front, pointing it in front, instead of closing it in, we're going to circle it round to second. We're going to keep circling it round to the back and then we'll close it into first. And that is a rond de jambe on day or Same again, very good for loosening up your hip sockets. One, to the side, to the back, closing in. So we've taken two with one leg. Now, just for a moment of relaxation and release, the leg that's just on the rond de jambe, we're going to take this hand down, open it out to the side, and we're going to take it up to fifth position. I'll just move back, then you can see my hand there. 
So as I go to fifth position, now I'm going to turn my head like I've fallen out with that arm. I'm turning my head sideways. And I'm going to do is the little bend over sideways. And I'm going to open that hand back out again and put it onto the bar. Then I can repeat with the other leg. So it's just a nice little stretch sideways there. To the front, to the side, to the back, closing into first. Same again to the front, to the side, to the back, closing into first. Taking your hand down, watching it, nice big circle out sideways, turn your head. A little lean over sideways, recovering back up again, and putting your hands on to the bar. Then we can reverse it. So we'll go to the back. So this is your under dom now. So it's coming inwards into first, to the back, to the side, to the front, closing into first. We'll take another sideways pour de bras, turning your head sideways, just a little look down and recover. It doesn't have to be a big stretch sideways. And then we'll go with the other leg to the back, to the side, to the front, into first, keeping your legs nice and straight. All the time, it's like you're drawing a capital letter D shape on the floor, taking your hand down, drawing it up, big circle, over you go sideways, recovering back up and putting your hand onto the bar. Just a few things to think about when it comes around to that side, we call that sideways port de bras. Keeping your hips nice and still is the first one. So we don't want our hips to kind of swing out sideways. So as you take your hand down and we go up, make sure the shoulder's nice and relaxed as well. We turn our head sideways so that our more dominant muscles in our neck take over. If you keep your head sideways, if you keep facing forwards, then actually those are slightly weaker muscles. So turning your head sideways, keep that shoulder relaxed, keeping your hips nice and still. And the bend comes from your waist, not from your hips swinging out sideways. So just bending over, just a little look over sideways. Keep that shoulder nice and relaxed. I think that's probably the most difficult thing is keeping that shoulder relaxed. So really be very aware of that. Let's give our, our rom de jambe exercise a go with music. Okay, so taking your leg to the front. Circle it to the side, round to the back. Into front, to the front. To the side, to the back. Now taking your hand down, you've got lots of time for this. And up to fifth, turning your head over sideways. And recovering back up again. And let's go with the other leg to the front. Side, derriere, closing into first, keeping your legs nice and straight. And you're still lifting the tall. Taking your hand down, turning your head over sideways, just a little bit down. Now let's reverse it, so we're going to go on the dog. So take your leg to the back, to the side, to the front, closing into first, to the back, to the side, to the front, closing in. And over sideways. And recovering up, stretching that arm out. And now your other leg going to the back, to the side, to the front, closing into first. Terrier, second, devil. One last time, over you go sideways, watching this man. Turn your head on the sideways pull around. And recovering up. And putting your hand on top. Okay, ready for our last exercise at the bar now. So this is called Grom Batmons. So we're going to do our Grom Batmons with, um, with one hand on the bar again. So popping yourself behind your bar, make sure your hand is in the center of your bar. Feet in first position for this and your hand back on your waist again. So it's very similar to a Batman Tondu in that we're, we're pointing our feet, we've got nice straight legs, but the intensity of a class kind of increases gradually in a, in a ballet class. And this is kind of, the dancers always finish off with this. It's quite a highlight of the, of the bar work. Okay, but of course, the height of your leg is actually set by you. Okay, so feet in first. We're going to use our outside leg and our inside leg for this exercise, but we'll use our outside leg to begin. 
we're going to point it to the front, keeping your legs straight. Can you then lift it up, point it, and then close it into first. Okay, so just be careful when you lift your leg up that your knee doesn't bend. So keeping it nice and straight, just at a height that you feel comfortable, and then closing into first. So we call that a preparation for a grand back one. Now we're going to do our proper grand back one. So we're going to connect together those first two points, and it's going to go swish, point, close. So the point and close remains the same, but it's just that this, we get a swish at the start. And we really want our leg, I'll just turn to face the side so you can see, to fully extend before it comes off the floor. It's not appearing in the air. It swishes, point, close. So we're going to take one preparation and then two full grand back ones. So pointing, lifting, pointing, closing, grand back one and point and a close. Another one, grand back one and point and close. We'll take a little rise to make sure our weight's in the center and lower down. Now we'll use our other leg, point and lift and a point and a close, grand back one and point and a close. And grand back one and point and a close. A little rise and lower. Okay? So we've got a little bit of music from Le Corsair, which is what I said our theme for this class is going to be today. So all these ex the all the music from now on is from the ballet of Le Corsair. Great piece of music. And let's do our grand balance. Off we go. Point and lift and the point and the close. Swish and point and close. Swish and point and close. We'll take a rise. And down. Hold the leg. Point, lift, point, close. Grow back more now. Point and close. Swish and the point and close. Rising and down. Okay, we'll finish it there. Okay, pop your belly bars away, have a drink of water because we've finished our bar work now and then we're going to come into the centre. Just mind my chair out of the way. Okay, get a quick drink of water. So it would be great if you could add in the comments, say whereabouts you're joining in from today. Um, have you done ballet before as well? I love hearing about whether you danced when you were younger. Is this your first lesson back? Is this your first ever ballet lesson? Um, so just pop it in the comments. If you've got any questions as well about Silver Swans or ballet, um, just pop them in the comments. And at the end of the session, I'll go through the comments and answer any questions that you've got. Um, so I would explain at the start, um, obviously, Silver Swans is ballet classes specially designed for the O55s. They are an initiative of the Royal Academy of Dance. Um, I was very fortunate to be part of the initial pilot program way back in 2017 with my Silver Swans, um, where I, well, I, I'm in Manchester um, teaching in person classes, and I now. Uh, uh, and obviously now I teach online as well. So I'm doing Zoom sessions and obviously in the virtual village hall as well. So um, yeah, so it'd be great to hear as well. Uh, oh, <laughs> like I said, whether it's your first ballet lessons, I can see lots of comments coming through now. Um, so I really hope that you're enjoying, you know, bringing back all the memories of a ballet class. I knew it's your first session. I really hope you're enjoying your first taster of a ballet class. Right, we will get going in the centre now. Hopefully everybody's had a chance to have a drink of water and pop their ballet bars away. Our first exercise is called our pour de bras. Pour de bras is a, um, it means carriage of the arms. So it's always, um, it's a moment in the class for a dancer to really work on the shapes of their arms and the quality of the movement. It's one of my favorite exercises actually. Um, so I'm going to introduce a few arm positions that's going to appear in our repertoire very soon. So let me just come back into the center. I'm just going to tip my camera slightly up for this so that you can see my arms a bit better. There we go, okay. There we go, let's have a quick check. Yes, you can see my arms now, great. 
So we'll go through some of the basic positions of the arms. There's five positions of the arms in ballet, plus a few little extras as well. So if we just stand with our feet in first, and if you begin with your hands in what we call bra bar, I'll just come up to the camera then you can see. So bra bar is a nice, describe it as an oval shape of your hands. So your elbows are pointing out to the sides. Your hands are about, to, about as wide apart as your face. Okay, they're not too short. Like I said, they're, they're a nice oval shape. My hands are just in front of my thighs there. They're not actually touching my legs. They are just a little bit in front there. Okay, so we call that bra bar. So if you keep that same arm shape and lift them up so that your hands are opposite your waist, so they're just lifting up, keep them that same shape, we call the arms in first position. If you open your arms out sideways, and we really want to make sure that they are still curved in front of you, our hands never go behind us, always curved in front, that's second position. And if we take our hands back to bra bar again, then we go to first and keep going all the way up to the top. I'll take a step back. There we go. That's arms in fifth position, which we did come across at the bar in our Ronde de Jean when we took our little sideways corps de bras. We did actually pass through second and fifth position there. So you already knew some of the positions. So some of the positions are actually like little mixtures of those. And one of them we're going to use today. If you take your arms to first, Take one arm out to second and the other arm up to fifth. There you go. And we call that fourth position. And we can take fourth position with either hand in front. We go with either hand up highest. Make sure your shoulders are nice and relaxed as well. Okay. So we've got first position, second position, fourth position we learned as well, and fifth. We've just not covered third. We don't need third for today's session. But just to let you know, third is made up of one arm in first and one arm in second. There you go, five positions of the arms, all learnt in about two minutes there. <laughs> um, so, for our port de bras, feet in first position. If you just move a bit further back, because this exercise is going to travel forwards. And we'll begin with our hands in bra bar, taking your arms to first, and then up to fourth position, and both arms go on their separate ways. Okay, so we've not got one arm moving, then the other one. They both travel together. Then this top hand opens to make second position, and then we lower down. Same on the other side, arms first. Two, four, opening to second. And this time we're going to lower our hands down to a position called demi-second. Demi-second's like you've got your two-two on, and your hands are resting on the edge of your two-two. We're going to take four, three walks and join into first, going forward. So try and start with your right foot first. Right foot, left foot, right foot closing into first, and then we're going to take a full port de bras all the way up to the top, opening out and down. And then we'll repeat it again, arms first, to fourth, opening out. I'll just move back a little bit, then you can see my arms, arms first, to fourth, opening out, lowering down to demi second. Try and start with your left leg first. Left leg, right leg, left leg closing into first, taking a full paw de bra, hands go through first, up to fifth, shoulders down, opening to second, and that's where we'll finish off there. So when you're doing your walks forward, we call these classical walks. Classical walks, Normally as you're walking, you would walk, as you walk down the street, you walk with your heel leading. But in a ballet class, we actually walk with our big toe leading. So our foot stretches in the air, and then the, your big toe touches the floor first, and then you ripple through your feet. You have to have a practice just doing some classical walks around your room, just stretching your foot out in front, because we are going to need these walks um, in our repertoire in a moment. Okay, so we've got some beautiful music from the Pas de Deux from Le Corsair to do this Pas de Bras too. Okay, hands in, feet in first, hands in bra bar. And first, two, four, second, lowering down. Arms first, two, four, shoulders down. And lower into demi second, right foot leads, right foot, left foot, right foot closing into first, 
and the pull of raw. Take your time. Let's repeat again. Arms to first. Try to take your left hand on highest. Open it. Really enjoy dancing to the music. And first. Two, four. piece of music isn't it um okay so we're going to go on to our repertoire now if you want to have a quick drink of water before we go on to it and just can you just we could just listen to our piece of music you might recognize this actually <laughs> ballet by Delibes, who is a very famous ballet composer and um, then he reused the music for his ballet La Source. Um, I think it's probably it's probably slightly more famous actually from the version from La Source, I think it was probably that. Um, anyway, in Le Corset, which is obviously what we're focusing on today, this beautiful dance appears in Act 3 and it's actually a dance using the corps de ballet. So using all of the dancers, um, and it's from a section of the ballet of the third act called Le Jardin Animé, um, the Lively Garden. So Le Corsair, like I say, it's all about pirates. There is a shipwreck at the start of the ballet, and um, and a lot of it is about uh, the freeing of slaves, actually. So um, like I said, this is from the third act. So um, beautiful dance. Let's get started. We're going to face, I always teach everything as a mirror image, so it's the easiest way to follow along. But don't worry about directions, just enjoy dancing along with it. So I'm going to face down to my lower right corner. So facing the front, you've got your right side, you've got your left side, so if you turn down to your lower right corner down here. And we're going to start with our feet in first and our wrists crossed. So it's very much kind of swan leg arms there. Um, so you've just got your wrist crossed in front. And as we're standing there for the introduction, there's that beautiful introduction. We can just give our hands a little push. And then we can hear the music begin and we take our hands from first and up to fourth with your right hand up highest. And that's on the introduction. I'll just talk about your feet now. We're going to step forward with our right foot. And it's like you're presenting your foot. Step and then close your left leg in at the back into third. And then we'll repeat it again, step and close. Okay, I'm just gonna tip my camera down a little bit more so you can see my feet there. Okay, so that's better. So I've taken my little push of my arms, I've prepared them up. And every time I've stepped with that foot, I'm going to take my hand down, like I'm gesturing out. And then I take it back again and out and back. Now I'm going to take some sways. And as I sway to the side, I'm gonna take three sways, bending through that demi plie in second. As I do, I'm going to swap my arms fourth to fourth. Fourth, two, fourth, two, fourth. And then I repeat it again. We're going the other way. Step and close and step and close and sway, and sway, and sway, and uh, hold. Let's have a go at that opening section with the music. Okay. Give your arms a little push. Okay, and taking your arms first to four. Step, close, step, 
Turns back. We're going to walk around now. Going past, go to if you go to your right, we're going to walk around the little circle until we finish at the center back. And we're going to basically take the pattern of three walks and then one walk stops. Okay, so you can lower your hands down to demi second. So I'm going to take one, two, three, and then I'm going to point my fourth foot in front, but it's just going to stop for a moment. One, two, three, point my foot in front. Okay, so I'll just do that. I'll just do it facing the cat. Well, I'll just do it this way so you can see. So we're one, two, three, then I point and stop. Then I use that leg, one, two, three, and then I point and stop, but I'm going around a little circle. So I've just finished off my last sway. And one, and two, and three, and point. One, two, three and a point. I'm going to take two more sways, taking your arms four to four. Sway to the right, sway to the left, taking some little steps forwards, feet into first, lowering your hands to bra bar, take them to first and then out to a new position called demi bra. Demi bra is a little bit like you're holding a tray really in front of you. Um, we want a nice lengthened position but we use it a lot as a nice gesture outwards to our audience. Okay, let's go from the very beginning up to there. Preparing your arms first, and two, four, and a step. now. So we're going to use our right foot, step down to our right corner where we were facing at the beginning of the dance, stepping forward and you can hear it goes da 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 and it's on that highlight that we're wanting to step forwards. So you're stepping onto your right foot and your left leg will point behind and as you do we'll go out to an arabesque position. So arabesque is one hand in front and one hand at the side. And if it's your right leg that you're standing on and your right hand that goes in front. One. We close our feet into first, let this side hand go down, both hands go up to fifth, opening out and down. Then we're going to repeat the same on the other leg, but we'll step with our left leg and our left hand in front. Left leg, left hand. Go up, taking your hands up to fifth, opening out, and then we reach our ending and we take our hands back to our opening position again. Okay, so we've taken our hands out to demi bra, and we're getting ready, and we're going step, da da. And then you take your hands up, then we open them out, just like we did in our paw de bra. Then we're stepping with our left hand and left leg, one. Closing in, taking your hands all the way up to the top, opening out, and crossing your wrists. Okay, and that's our piece of repertoire for today. So, like I say, from Le Jardin Anime, from Le Corsair, let's give it a go from the beginning with music. And taking your arms first and up to fourth with your right hand up highest. And 
Step. Step. Sway. And sway. And sway. Step. And a club. Step. And a club. Sway. And sway. And sway. Ready? Right foot lead. Walking round. One. Two. Three. And a point. One. Two. Three. Now sway to the right. And to the left. Steps forwards and it's going out. Right hand, right leg, and out. Taking your hands up to fit, opening out. Ready, left hand, left leg, stepping to the left, and out. Taking your hands up and opening out. Wrist cross. Okay. Good, it just makes you want to keep dancing that piece of music, doesn't it? We're going to finish off with our curtsy and cool down now. So, the curtsy works in midway through the cool down. So ladies, you have your hands in demi second. Your foot goes at the back onto the demi point, onto the ball of your foot there. And we take a little bend and stretch. And your other foot goes at the back, bending and stretching. If you don't feel very stable in that position, you can always take it with two flat feet instead. If you've got any men joining in today, hands by your side, and you would take a bow at that moment as well. Okay, so feet together, and just following along for your cool down, really thinking about your breathing. Okay, and breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Hands stepping. And we'll curtsy or bow. And curtsy or bow. Okay, just walking round. Keep thinking about the thing. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in, and we'll finish off there. Well done, everybody. Good. Right. I really, really hope you enjoyed today's session. Learned a little bit of La Corsa. I feel like it's a ballad that always gets forgetting about, always gets forgotten about just a little bit. So um, I really hope you just enjoyed getting in touch with that with that ballet. Um, so I'm back in the virtual village hall next month. Um, I will put in the comments actually just afterwards and uh, let you know when my next session is. Unfortunately, I can't remember it off the top of my head. Um, and I really hope to see you then. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Bye.